versus the NFC. It's the little train that thought he could. It's the New York Saints trying their darndest to knock off the world champion Philadelphia Wings. I don't think that really we've been getting the credit that we deserve throughout the league right now. I mean, remember, we're the defending champs. We just wanted to come out here and prove that, you know, we were the world champions last year and then we'll have to do it again this year. Riding on the shoulders of Gary Gate in the third championship season, the Wings want it known that they are more than a one-man show. Who are these guys who are still searching for respect? Everybody spoke to us with Buffalo and, and uh, Boston, and right now we're really playing Philadelphia Wings across and showing that we're defending champs. in Philadelphia, a regional rivalry between New York and Philadelphia. The Saints against the Wings, our major indoor lacrosse league action on the news, getting set to start. I'm Lee Felsmo along with Christy Lee and Quinn Kesnick on the sideline. Let's take a look at why this is critical. Yes, Philadelphia Wings 4-1 at the top. Yes, New York Saints 0-5 on the bottom, but they were 11-10 victors last time they met. This is always a grudge match in a tight game, a face-to-face. -face. Key stars in this game, the left-handed cannon, Johnny Nostrick for Philly, Charlie Lockwood, a fabulous rookie, a guy who has seven goals as a rookie first year in the league. But the big story, 10 minutes ago, second team off goal, starting goalie, Sal Atasio comes in for New York. He got hung up in travel complications. He did not get a chance to warm up. He's critical. If this team is going to be successful, Quint Kesnick, does he even get a chance to start? Well, Sal's getting a couple shots right now in the goal. He got here late. Uh, mentally, you got to worry about it. He really hasn't been focused on playing the game. He's been focused on getting out to the field. Uh, physically, I think he'll be okay. The first couple shots, though, here in the first quarter will tell the tale. Back to you, Leif. All right, Quint. Elliott in the one goal for Philadelphia. He is an all-pro first team from last year. Lacasio, we talked about him. This is Elliott. Look at his save percentage, 74% save this year. Last year, he was about 78. Of course, Sal Lacasio, we talked about him. He's playing about the same way he played last year, 75% save ratio. Getting ready to drop the rock. Silver and black for Philadelphia, white and blue for New York. And New York will keep Kent to get up like McIntyre does. The rock is dropped, and we are ready to go. Of course, state spectrum, 16,000 plus. And they love the wings. McIntyre looking for a shot, looks for rope, and doesn't get it. All pro Dallas Elliott just gobbles it up. I tell you, the Wings are tough to beat here. The 16,000 fans make it very tough to beat them. They are 12 0. Bear check. Big time shooter gets checked from behind by McCabe. McCabe played with him in Syracuse. Both were all Americans. Watch the fast break. Trying to find lead player McAtee. Looking for a trailer. Can't get it. They'll try to shoot. Can't get it against a great defense. Here comes Andy Towers, new acquisition for New York, blowing himself right into the crease, and Elliott just gobbles it up. Tony Resch, second year as coach, Doc Gardy on the New York sideline, looking a little bit concerned. He's trying a couple new players tonight. He sat down, Gordon Purdy, the veteran, a couple new faces, Gil Hooley being one of them for New York. Here come the wings. Check from behind again, and another save by Lacasio. He didn't have a chance to warm up. Fittering with the ball. Look away, feed! Big save for Lacasio, who looks for the outlet pass immediately. The style of these two teams is very similar. They're both great field team athletes who like to run up and down. They'll try to get great fast breaks from both sides. Both teams want to really stretch the field. They are in very good shape and want to get the transition goal. Jason Walden, new acquisition this here. Let him go! That's Roy Condon, the crew chief, referee the white hat to your left there. Keep it down, fellas, keep it down! He's Mike, you'll hear him throughout the game. Walk inside, trying to find the cutting player across the crease field, Hooley. And Tony Resch. Coach just came for the second year again. He is with a defensive specialist for the Wings. He loves to build his team from the defensive end. Kevin Finneran again. Kyle Wesley in his season day. Left-handed loads up, likes to feed, but he'll take a shot in close. Backhanded shot goes wide. Gil Holy makes the big check. And Lacasio is barking at the sideline about the defensive checks. Players are getting too close. He gives it up to Kevin Lowe, another fresh face. Three rookies on this New York team. 
no rookies on the veteran Philadelphia squad. So this Philadelphia squad is as tight as anybody in the league. Maybe the best team playing the emphasis on the team concept in the mill. 12 minutes, 35 seconds left, first quarter. Here we go! Here we go! Elliot picks it up. Volker now. Volker, an All-American, and Hopkins in the defensive end. He got his first regular season goal just last week. O'Grady, out front. Chris Flynn, local hero at Penn, comes in, tries to beat O'Keefe. Now he'll shoot! And a shoulder block by Lacasio. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it! See Brian Volker there looking for the call. Push call, the ball will go to Stala Cassio. And we've got somebody going to the box, I believe. It'll be Volker. Nice time, get the ball. So Volker goes into the box for two minutes. Quint Kesenik, what's the sideline look like for New York? Dr. Artie, any uh, special plans on how you're going to neutralize Gary Gates? Well, hopefully we're going to play good man-to-man -man on him, but we're going to try and play a little triangle zone off. So if he does slip and pick and roll inside, we've got somebody to back up. Otherwise, we're just going to match up. Thanks, Doc. Back to Leaf. All right, we've got a timeout, Quint, so we'll take a short break. When we come back, it'll be a power play for New York. Right now, no score. We are early in the first quarter. Welcome back to the Core State Spectrum. Lee Felsmo with Christy Lee and Quinn Kessenick. This is a big game for Philadelphia. They want to stay in front in the league. Movers and shakers for these teams that will help them win will be in the transition area of the field. For Philadelphia, it's going to be a man named Chris Flynn. He has 47 faceoffs. He is great between the goals, getting possessions. And for New York, it could be Steve Kesslinger, who has faced off 17 times in the last two games and won 12 of them. Let's go down to Christy Lee on the sideline of Philadelphia. Thank you, Leaf. I am down here with Chris Flynn, the gentleman you were just talking about. Chris, what's it going to take? What are you going to do to get ready in this first quarter? Well, we're back on our heels a little bit. we got to come out and get some ground balls. We're uh, a little lax on defense. We're sloughing off too much. we got to come out and be more aggressive on the, on the ball. What about Sal Lacaccio getting that slow start? Great goalie. Uh, we, we just got to get to him early and get his confidence down. Great. Thank you very much, Chris Flynn. Back to you, Leaf. And Christy was talking about the slow start of warming up. Big hits on the sideline. Sal didn't get a warm-up, but he had a blazing start in the goal. Lacasio has been tough. He's made two or three saves already without the benefit of a warm-up. We're still in a power play for New York, and Philadelphia starts out in a box. McEntee triggers up front. Now, New York is giving a different look. They've mixed the lines up, and this is the new power play. McEntee's there. That is Lockwood, the laser from Syracuse, taking the right-handed shot, but blocked away by Elliott. And here comes the man down unit. Very dangerous. McAvoy with control. Dragged by O'Keefe. Gives it over to Rogers. They will try to eat up at least the 30 seconds on the shot clock before they give the ball back for the remaining time on the penalty. About a minute left on the penalty as Nostrick comes in. You'll notice they put fresh legs in. Here's Marichek cutting across. These guys can score, especially this gentleman, Gary Gates. Hill's dangerous. He's dangerous against two players. Wheels in against McIntyre. He tries to slam dunk. Shot clock violation. And the ball goes back to New York. Gary Gate was trying to get a shorthanded goal. Now Philadelphia will put their defensive specialist back on the field. And there are 38 seconds left in the power play for New York. Again, a fresh look as they are confused right now coming on. Look, they're not even on the field. Towers comes out. They're not getting the full five guys out. They've got four players on the field. New York is blowing an opportunity. They only have four players. Now finally, Kistner comes out. They're playing four on four. 20 seconds left. Kistner comes out, tries to get a shot off. The yeah. shot clock expires. They blew that one just because they were a fresh unit that didn't communicate well. They were 4-on-4, four four, totally confused. Kissinger blows out there to make it 5-on-4, takes a shot before the shot clock expires. So that fresh unit for New York cost them a possession. And now Philadelphia will just let the clock wind down. They are an even strength. Philadelphia doing a good job of taking away an opportunity for New York. Rodgers working the right-handed side. Near pipe, Sal can't believe it. He says, where's the defense? Gee, 
Rogers gets his first goal of the year. This is a good-looking, talented kid that played at Villanova, not too far from the four straight, four state spectrum. And a hometown favorite, Rogers lights it up. One to nothing, Philadelphia leads for 9.30 left. Gary Gale. who probably did not expect it. Watch Gary lock up. He pushes off the defense with one hand. He gets the other hand on the stick, and he wraps the shot around Panetta. Panetta was blocking the vision of Sal Lacasio, so that slight screen made it tough for Sal to read the shot. Two to nothing. Philadelphia on fire. Two goals in about 10 seconds. Watch the fake shot out front. McAvoy all by himself. Sombrado's not there. Lacasio out of position because nobody's playing defense back in the crease area. Timeout called by Doc Darty. His team is reeling. Three goals in a little over a minute, and it's a 3-0 lead for Philadelphia. Lacasio has to regroup. Great. And they've been doing it in the face of Sal Lacasio. The Philadelphia bench is pretty happy. Christy Lee, what's the tone down there? Well, I'll tell you, a guy that's really happy, Jimmy Rogers scoring his first goal. The first guy to score tonight, Jimmy, that had to feel good. Oh, yeah, it felt good. I've been working hard all year getting my shots, but they just haven't gone down. I finally put one in. Hopefully, we can keep it coming. I'll find a good thing. Let's talk a little bit about Sal Lacasio. You think you're going to get him tonight? Well, I don't know. You got here a little late. He might be a little rattled, but we're playing hard enough. We're going to get our shots, and eventually they're going to go. We can make his saves, but we can't get them all. Big Jimmy Rogers from Villanova. Thank you. And Christy, Jimmy Rogers had a great year last year. You mentioned that was his first goal. Coach Tony Resch, very happy that Rogers is getting his offense loosened up as they drive for the playoffs, the defending champions. Philadelphia now controls again. New York not getting very many offensive opportunities in the face of Brady of Lacasio, but he steps in the crease. Give the ball back to New York. Fast break opportunity. They threw it a little bit too far. Sarah Met dropped it, but he gets it back and hits the back of the net. That'll be possession Elliott. And Sarah Met is really using the stick as a sword back there. Um, watch out, Volker. The transition has been there. They just have not handled the stick very well. And I really believe that's because they have not warmed up properly as a team. This team is not yet loose and comfortable. Big hit against Tony Millen by Volker. And that'll be a two-minute penalty on Flynn. Tripping violation on Lynn. He goes in. Resch doesn't like it, but his team is looking good. 3-0 lead for Philly. This is the second opportunity for the power play for New York. But Doc Darty's team was uh, very unpolished with this new unit. Lockwood gives it back to McEntee, the veteran. McEntee pulls the defense. Back to Laser. Laser tries to get it down to O'Keefe, who missed it again. I don't think this team is handling the ball very crisply. And again, I think that is a problem with not warming up as a unit. Half the team didn't get here until about 15 minutes before the start of the game. Travel problems coming in from New York. And it has cost them. Down by three with six minutes left in the first quarter. Lee, Christie, and the Q on the deuce. Adrian Newell across the gap. Watch out, Gary Gage looking for a rope. And it's gobbled up by Lacasio. He looks for the quick outlet. Finds Laser Lockwood. Lockwood's got Waller to his left. Lockwood will make one fake and try to get a shot. Down low. Again, he cannot find Walder. You've seen New York many times make a pass and not connect on the transition. McEntee is up top. They're going to reload this power play. McEntee's going to look for a shot to the left. Back up to McEntee. He takes it. Looking for a rope. 
Elliott, but it's a big save in the face mask of Elliott. Gary Gates on transition. He's got Martin to his left. He's got Marichek up front here. Marichek! Big save by Casio again making a save. Two and three shots every time down. Push call against Philadelphia. Quinn Kestick on the sideline of New York. Hey, Andy, you guys had a nice fast break chance there. Couldn't handle the pass. Yeah, it was too bad. I uh, come down the side. I had to stick my right hand. The ball was a little behind me. So I'd reach out and get it, and uh, couldn't get there. Too bad. Leap. And, Quinn, I'd like you to start asking some of these guys down there between these uh, discussions if they feel rusty because they didn't work out. They feel like they look like they're not handling the ball like they normally would. Maybe the lack of warm-up is costing them. Here's Gary Gates coming in. Right-handed shot checked from behind. Barrett check. Right-handed gets inside Saramet, tries to get into the cylinder and cannot get the shot off. Shot clock violation. Give it to the goalie. Millen, 440 left. All right, big check. Watch out, Flynn. He's got Martin to his left. Flynn's got two defenses in front of him. He gets it back to the trailing player. Now down low is Nostrid. Big save. No, he had the shot. Casio had the save. The three goals that Philadelphia scored were in about a minute and a half. No score before that by either team. No score since. And with about four minutes left in the first quarter, teams are all even strength-wise, five against five. Tony Miller, world team player, can't get it past Dallas Elliott, who is looking better every game. Had a couple of injuries early on this season, and really is getting back to his normal, tough, tough defensive stance. Pat McCabe. Now well, his career new players from New York, and Flynn picks it up, and he's rocked by Pat McCabe. Rear can't pick it up, and there's a shot by Lockwood, I believe. No, it was Sombrato, 25. Steve Sombrato did a great job of picking up the loose ball as you look at McCabe, and he lost his helmet. Watch this hit by McCabe. Rocks Quinn. McCabe loses the helmet and straps on the leather. He's back to possession. New York has no score so far. Watch Sombrato. Can't get it. Wow. Find the net. He's back, coming out! Nostrand comes on, they try to get a fresh line on into Gary Gates, just playing a lot of offense, sparing him on defense so far. Locked up there by McCabe, Gary's open! Can't get a pass for Casio. Good move inside of McCabe. Air check. Big save again by... Lacasio. You gotta push, David. Push. Push them in. Come on, goalie. Push them in. Lacasio fighting for possession. Look at him. He's yelling at the defense. Gray ball. Gray ball. Top right. Lacasio is really furious with his defense because all the shots are Ready coming run, run, in run, his run. face. Ball started on the right-hand side. This is an air check. Going to the right side. The back side is Dovin and Gates. This is a very powerful unit. Maybe the best in the league. Air check. Hammered by Millen. Hammered again by Millen. These are both world team players. Air check for Canada. Millen for the U.S. All right, I didn't want to let him keep on going. We got him On Tony Millen, because of this, Hatchet check. Marichek taking in the arm. Marichek taking yet another one. Tony Millen beating him up. Millen spends two minutes in the box. A good look at second team all pro Sal Acasio. He has been doing a lot of work. Now at the power play, he'll be tested again. In close, note he makes a shot. Nostrand in the face of Lacasio. It was five against four, Philadelphia's first power play. And New York starts out in a diamond D to take the ball away from Gary Gate. Gary Gate will start at the point. Tony Resch and his crew really trying to pile it on this New York squad. Now watch Gate 22, he'll start at the point. Right there, the ball starts with him. See the man up on him, they're in a diamond, trying to shut off the top. That leaves the bottom open, here comes Rope from Marichek.
eyes are open, but look at Finneran. When he gets it, here comes Faircheck flying into the diamond. He'll come right into the diamond where it's wide open. All the attention's on Finneran down to our left, and Marichek gets the open feed from the best in the league as far as feeding is concerned, and that's Kevin Finneran. Christy Lee on the Philadelphia bench. Christy, that bench has to be feeling a little bit good about this first quarter. Well, the Wings wanted to come out strong. They've obviously done that. Tommy, you took some beatings there, but obviously it didn't affect your shooting skill. No, it didn't. Uh, they're a little frustrated, I think, being down 3 nothing, And uh, I think they came into this arena pretty late. And uh, Millen's not known for the, uh, the nicest guy in the world, but uh, it's all right. I laugh it off. What about shooting against Sal Lacaccio real quick? Does he have a weaker side? He does. I think you tend to want to get him sort of low. You want to, you want to sort of bring him up and drop him low. So uh, I didn't do that, fortunately, the first two shots, but I think I'm going to figure him out right now. All right, thank you. John Marichek. And Marichek, part of that Canadian connection that is so powerful for Philadelphia. Gary Gate, Tom Marichek, the Canadian connection that played at Syracuse, rewriting the offensive record books along with brother Paul, and they are really the heart and soul of the offense for Philadelphia. They demand a lot of attention. New York really playing tough defense now. Sal Acasio has been on the sideline during the break. Just yelling at his defense to get in the face of Philly. Now he outlets way up to the far side. Here comes Lockwood. Trailing player McAtee. McAtee's open. He's got the ball now. No. Elliott puts the face mask right on the rubber. And here comes Face. Nostrin and Lacasio stand tall. Watch again. Flynn comes crashing in. Flynn already with two assists. Can he get a score? He only has one goal yet this year. From the front! The first quarter has been by far the biggest quarter for Philadelphia this year. And it proves to be true again tonight. With 30 seconds left, they have a 4-0 lead. And they really have commanded the first quarter against everybody they've played. Nostrin takes one against Lacasio, and he makes the big block. So for New York, they might breathe a sigh of relief that the first quarter is almost over, and they have a chance to regroup. Four straight face-offs for Philadelphia. No shots in one quarter this season. 20 against the Saints. They may be getting close to that right now. Tony Millen's only got eight left on the quarter. He better crank it. Right-handed shot from there has about no angle and about zero chance to go in. Tony takes it and gives it back to Philadelphia. That'll do it for quarter number one. Four State Spectrum rocks as Philadelphia takes a 4-0 lead. To drop the rock, quarter number two, Lee Elmo along with Christy and the Q. They're on the sideline along with a Philadelphia team that's up 4 to nothing over the blue and white New York Saints. Wow, that first quarter was all Philadelphia, as it has been most of the year. Watch out now as Govett comes down and tries to give it to Gary Gates. This is the first unit. Watch in front! Gabrielson can't get the shot past Lacasio. And Quinn Kesnick, you saw the uh, timeout at the quarter. What is the temperament of the New York team that looks a little bit confused and tired? Well, again, Leaf, they uh, focused on getting the ground balls and making plays. Uh, they're being out hustled right now, and they're doing a poor job defensively off the ball. They're doing a nice job covering the guy with the ball, but they're not marking up off the ball. And they'll have to make those adjustments to be a factor in this game. The first quarter is over. That's the good news because Philadelphia comes out. They do the same thing. Clamp going out. Roy Condon, All he the is back. the crew chief. First quarter stats, Philadelphia, as you might expect, 16 to 7 in shots and loose balls. They command that category, 20 to 14. And when you have that much of an advantage in those two stats, along with faceoffs, 4 to 1, there's no surprise that the score is 4 to nothing in favor of Philadelphia. No fast break goals for either team yet today, and both teams leery of the team speed on both of these benches. McEntee back door to Sombrato, who cannot pick it up. New York has, I mentioned, new lines. New chemistry. And there's a shot from outside. Kevin Lowe, the all-time leading scorer from Princeton. Another of a triad of rookies, along with Laser Lockwood, that is really making this team improve each and every day. Outside, Kevin Lowe, who was a feeder in college primarily. Look at Elliot saying, what the heck is going on? You might notice that shot up there. The Canadian goalies 
really get confused the American players shoot so well from so far outside. The Canadian goalies are used to having guys ram it right down their throat, and today New York has been trying to do that. That outside shot may open up some opportunities if New York continues from the to try to shoot from a little farther out. Sometimes, again, the Canadian goalies don't handle that as well as the shots right on top of them. Andy Towers, he's six foot four and tough to handle. Here comes New York again. Watch Towers looking for rope, but that one knocked down. Here comes Philadelphia. Fast break. Here, McAvoy looking for a trailer, but he is double teamed. Here comes Denigan off the bench. He's shooting against Lacoste, and it goes wide. Picked up by Mace. Mace has the ball. And the shot goes wide. Now New York has the ball. Back to Quint on the New York sideline. Q. So, uh, you kind of surprised him with the outside shot. Yeah, uh, well, I was running out of time, and uh, one of the, a couple of the guys were coming out after me, so I just shot it by their knees. I don't think he saw it. And, uh, you know, we just need something to get us going right now, so we can come back and win this game. Back up to you, Leaf. All right, that was Kevin Lowe, who scored the first and only goal for New York. It's 4-1 to one as Finneran brings it down. Game, the Saints were scoreless for 16 and a half minutes in this game. And you knew Kevin Lowe, the all-time leading scorer for Princeton, took the leadership role as a rookie and made something happen. Panetta can't pull that one in from Tony Millen. Matt Panetta, All-American from Johns Hopkins. Tries to roll inside. He's got rope! In the crease. Take it away. Off the boards. No goal. So that one wipes off the boards because he was in the crease. Watch Martin inside. He can't get it because it was locked down by Lockwood. Blackwood tucks it away from Martin. Tony Millen gets it back to Lacasio. Millen, Lacasio, two of the world team players for the United States, along with Laser Lockwood. Right there, so that ball just went one, two, three to three of the United States representatives in England who won the world championships last summer. The major indoor lacrosse league was well represented. This is McEntee, the veteran, looking inside for a trailer and a cunning player. Nobody does. He has no target. Shot clock down to four. Moving pick as we look at Miko Red Arrow. Good stuff, good stuff. And the ball goes back up to the running, gunning New York. Oh, in the Philadelphia Wings, rather. In the crease, coming out. In the crease, coming out. Yes, George Gorgon. One step, two Along step. with Tony Resch. Martin comes off a little disappointed that he got in the crease as he took down that pass. That right. would have been a pretty good we shot against Lacasso. He was right in his face. The new kid, rear gun. Wearing 93. Reardon gets inside, takes a shot, but it goes high over I'm top out, of the I'm net. Out, it's going out great. It's a great ball. It'll again. be Philadelphia ball. We'll take a short timeout. Four to one. Uh, the bad news for New York. The good news is they scored the last goal, and there's plenty of time left. Score from Philadelphia. Philadelphia doing a great job in the first quarter, as they always have this year. But New York has held them close for all about nine minutes, and that is really good news. Kevin Bitter is working to the left side. He's a great feeder. You don't know where he's going to be. Watch the back door. There it is. Miller. Here comes Fade. Looking for rope, and Lacasio just shuts the door. Jason Walder, a Canadian product, that tried to keep up the offense with Jason Walder. He's not a big scorer, but really has good Canadian instincts to help these young kids like Lockwood. This is Tony Millen with the ball, and nobody is in better shape than Tony Millen. He is in condition. Knock it off! Lockwood has the ball. They're saying knock it off to down low. McAvoy getting hit in close against Elliot Pushkov. Reset. Reset the shot clock. Miller can't believe it. They give the ball back to New York. Gil Holy will take it up top. Watch the shove from behind. Miller comes down, shoves him into the crease to take him off his angle. And that's what the head shake was from Miller. McEntee got the push from behind. They get the ball back in a fresh 30 seconds. Watch out. Here comes Gil Hooley with a check from behind by Bates. A two-minute penalty. A delayed call. And they'll have a power play coming up. First to start with a cross check. Got a cross check here. Play defense out here. Cross check. I got it. All right, Philadelphia bench doesn't look too uh, disappointed. Captain Scott Gabrielson saying, way to play defense, good cross check. And we'll see how this two minute penalty came about. See how it goes up high to the neck? That is two minutes. You can't go up above the shoulder pads to the neck. That cross check from behind 
I think the penalty came before that when the shot came up above the shoulder. Stay away from the neck and the head. Macasio there with his helmet off. second one. So there'll be a timeout here. We'll take a short break. Score four to one. New York has a chance to bring it to within two. They are getting tougher on defense. Play for New York. They can bring this game back to within two. Philadelphia scored in quick succession. Three goals within a minute and a half. They haven't scored against New York in 15 minutes. This is the third power play for New York, and they haven't really gotten a good test against Elliott. He looked a little bit confused, not in coordination. Here's a shot from Lockwood. He's got Rose! Four to two game! All even! One goal! Well, they call him Laser at Syracuse, and the reason in and out, is... In and out. He's got a rocket from up top. This offense looks a little confused, but this is nothing tricky. Lockwood just puts on the heater and blazes it by Elliott with nobody in front of him. Elliott had every chance to save this, but this baby had steam on it, and he gets a piece of it, but not enough. Four to two, let's go down to the sideline. Hey, Charlie, uh, Elliott, give you anything between the legs on that one? Well, uh, you know, it's just a good look. We moved the ball well, and I just took what I had, and uh, thank God it went in. You know, I think that could be a momentum changer, and uh, hopefully get back to the party. Back to you, Leaf. You know, Quinn, it's really funny. This team was dominating for so long, Philadelphia. Four to one, but now it's a four to two game. Anybody can win it. And as you know, good teams get ahead. Sometimes they lose their emotional edge. And that could be a real problem for this team. George Morgan, Tony Resch, not wanting their team to lose the mental edge they have coming out fast in the first quarter. You start feeling good about yourself, you're up four to nothing, and all of a sudden you haven't scored in almost 20 minutes, and it's a two-goal game. New York takes one off the iron. Kevin Lowe looks inside. He's got a target here. Watch out. That's a shot. Panetta, right-hander, big Why? save by Dallas, uses his fist and glove to push it away. Jimmy Rogers has a goal already, gets it up to Marichek. This is a tough line. Steve Govick, Govick can take it himself. Wheels inside, dishes back, watch it. Oh, Gabrielson just misses the iron. It's Gary Gates, haven't heard from him yet. So Gary Gates had the actual second goal of the game, I should say, he had a great right-handed shot. Right here from the back, push, reset, Ray Ball. Push call against Kisslinger, Roy Condon, the head of the crew chief, resets the shot clock and gives him the ball back with 5.51, a 4-2 game in favor of Philadelphia, but they have not scored it in a long time, and it's a two-goal game. Denikin, inside a fan shot by Bates here, Tom hits. Kissinger tucks it in. He wants to shoot. Whoa, what a left-handed rocket that goes high and wide. He had rope. He just missed it. Beautiful. Here comes Bates. 5-20. Two-goal game. Whistle. Too many men. Too many men on the white. Too many men on the white. Last time these two teams played, they had five too many men calls. And that's exactly what this is. Two-minute penalty, too many men on the field for New York. Philadelphia will be up by one of a man advantage power play coming up for Philly. Let's get a goal here. Hey, Roy. Roy. Well, Tony Resch is concerned about what I was talking about in that his team was up early against a team that's last in the league, he's first in the league, and they lost their emotional edge. He's looking for the same kind of drive they came out of the gate with. They had the four goals, they got three of them in about a minute and a half, and they haven't scored in a long time. About 13 minutes since they've scored, at least. I think a little while ago, I told 15. <laughs> we'll check our statistician. It's been a while, folks, and this is a power play, and Tony Rush is very concerned. He wants this unit to get one now, and this is a unit that's loaded. He goes to Gary Gate, down low to Finner, and back door, Marichek just misses. He had it. If he hit it, he just went wide. Gary Gate starts again, resets up front. This diamond takes him out of it. Now he goes through, gives the shot up top, but Nostra, Nostra takes a bad shot. Fast break, here he comes! Wide of the mark. 
Great shot by Sombrato, and it just went wide. Boy, the outlet pass hit him beautifully. He's tired. Let's see if he comes off the field. Steve Sombrato stays on at that whole court sprint. You see him come back into the picture. He'll be tired. Let's see if he's a factor here. Sombrato's up top, and you know he's winded. Gary Gate now on the point, or in the shooter left. Up top now is Nostrum. They've moved around. This is Denikin. They've shifted people. Gate. back over to Gary Gate on the left side, and he just takes a high-velocity shot from that favored left side. Once again, it'll go back over to Gate, wide open, the defense slides slowly, and Sal can't pick up that hard shot to the back side. Three-goal lead now for Philadelphia. Gary Gate has one shorthanded goal, one power play goal, two on the night. He had four goals against New York in New York when they won 11 to 10. He's still on that four goal pace right now with two in the first half. Dallas Elliott makes a save. That one is stuck in his pad somewhere. Condon says you got it somewhere. They wear a lot of equipment, folks, and I guess you would too, right? I know I would. A lot of equipment. The shots are about 100 miles an hour. Christy Lee on the Philadelphia sideline. Well, I'm with Gary Gay. Gary, how important emotionally to this team was that goal of yours? Well, uh, they came back with a couple. We haven't scored this far, so we had to get out there and get one. We just got to keep rolling now. Keep it going. Keep taking it to them. Gary Gay, thank you very much. Nobody plays the game better than that man, Gary Gate, number 22. He's in great shape this year. He's threatening to break or to match his all-time points record in the major indoor lacrosse league, and that's for points per game. It's 68 points per season. That was a 91 when they played 10 games. He's on that pace. He's scoring about 6.6 .6 points per game. Up back door against Elliott. New York scores goal number three. Beautiful job by the cutting Jason Walder. Resch can't stand it. They worked so hard to get the goal, and just like that, New York gets it back. It's a two-goal game, and New York is in it. Walter's coming down the back side. All the way across, he just hammers it home off the feed from Reardon, and simple game on a backdoor cut. Walter looks like he might have an injury. We'll get a report from the queue in a minute. Watch out! Lacascio making the save. Flint. Up, picked up by Volker. 2.30 left in the second quarter. Martin's going to take it. Ocasio gobbles up, looks at the outlet. He's got somebody. Far side, no. Nostrand's back there before Panetta. Panetta tries to ride Nostrand. Nostrand back to Dallas Elliott. Panetta's tired, but he's going to stay on there. He's in good shape. He's going to run back and get his defensive position. Philadelphia with a fresh shot clock, a two-goal lead, and 2.14 left in the half. O'Grady. Cutting Mark. That mixed unit out there, actually. Nostrand out there. Marichek. Lacasio looks stronger every minute. He didn't have a warm-up time. Count that first quarter as his warm-up. Make it legal, and White. Make then, it legal. He has been very difficult to beat. And the lower scoring the game is, the better it looks for New York. New York isn't going to score more than 13 goals. That might be their all-time high this year. Sombrato can't find rope. Sweeping glove save by Elliott. 137 left in the second period. Marichek in close, got it, can't shoot lefty from there. He was on the wrong side. Now he pushes around McCabe, knocks it out. McCabe runs him into the board. Gabrielson picks up the loose ball. Whistle. Too many men on the block. Too many men on Philly. Too many men on Philly. What do you want? And that's what a two-minute penalty. This is Jason Walder on the sideline. Walder looks like he has a leg injury, cramps. It's too many men on Philly. They'll be in the box. This is a power play opportunity coming up. A minute 25 left in the first half, but New York can make it a one-goal game. Stay with us. Play. And Quint, that team on New York looks a little more comfortable. I think you have to admit they used that first quarter as sort of their warm-up, and I think they're gaining confidence without question. A goal here will be huge. I think this power play has looked pretty awkward 
from my vantage point, it's a new look, it's a new unit, they haven't gotten comfortable yet. Up top, this is Laser Lockwood, down close to O'Keefe. Left-handed shot, reset on the shot clock to 30. Walter gets it up top, that's the man who was hurt, he's looking there right now. Lockwood, whoa, the laser pops it home, finished up by O'Keefe, no! You got it, you got the ball, you can go for it. I didn't have the ball, that's just it. I know that, but the ball was inside the cylinder. He could still go for it. Elliot concerned that his face was violated. Elliot didn't like the fact that O'Keefe was in his face. He was trying to protect his turf, and that's what Condon was telling him. The ball was loose in front. O'Keefe came flying in to bat it down, and he got the goal that was in the crease before it went in. No goal, still 5-3, to three, 34 seconds left in the half. Lacasio has played big time since that run in the first quarter take away that minute and a half period where they scored three goals and this game is incredibly low scoring at just the pace that new york needs to stay in it five to three We're talking about a 10-6 finish 18 seconds left in the first half still a power play in close they've got rope it's a one goal game no pump no pump this team from New York has done everything they've had to do. They had everything working against them as Elliott is starting to get peppered. Here we go. Five to four. Now a one goal lead. Do you believe it? Five to four. Watch it move inside. Nobody's there against the Diamond D. And they send it home. Beautiful shot by Samperato. Nine seconds left in the first half. A one goal game. Watch that. Jimmy Rogers looking for Rose off the shoulder. Again, Gary Gates check from behind that'll end the first half McCabe rocks Philly into the board what a game for New York who came back against a Philadelphia team that looked impossible to beat Philadelphia really playing well in the first quarter but then since then it's been a very even game this is New York inside Sombrato one fake low against Elliott he's got rope to make it 5-4 it's a one goal game look at the clock only 13 seconds left in the half at that point but right now it's five to four and Christy Lee's got a very concerned sideline of Philadelphia you can say that again half later. ended New York getting very confident in their game Jeff after a slow Shader. start. Well, you Jeff might Buck. expect them to have a slow start. They didn't even warm up with the full squad. Now they're in the face of Elliott, and he makes an arm save to keep the score five to four, Bobby one goal lead. Look at Elliott. He is having all kinds That's of pressure, physical, and Resch is telling everybody to get physical. Watch the back door shot. Wanted to start the second half, but Jimmy Rogers Clipper, opened Clipper. the scoring in the game with a goal, and he opens up the second half. The young kid from Villanova, backside, right-handed shot, and Lacasio looked to be in position, but Rogers found a sliver of an opening. Millen comes back, and it's Elliott making the big windshield wiper save. He just acrobatically threw himself in front of that shot. Millen stays there to try to block the feed of Miller. So, one goal already by Philadelphia within the first minute of the second half. It's a two-goal game. Two-goal lead for Philadelphia. Six to four. Still very low score. And well within the reach of the limited offense from New York. They have the worst statistical offense in the league. That fast break opportunity cut down by McAvoy. Philadelphia dropping back at the earliest hint of a fast break for New York. They're cutting off every opportunity for that fast break. They don't want to let the speed of New York pay dividends offensively. Spinner. Watch the look away. The great Ohio Wesleyan feeder. He can shoot, and he does. That one goes wide. The shot clock still counting down. And Low can't pick it up, but Denikin does. And the rookie lost it to Denikin, the veteran. Now Philadelphia has a chance to shoot, but the shot clock kept, because Low didn't pick it up, the shot clock kept ticking away. They lost it on possession. So, look at that first quarter for New York. That was basically their warm-up period, and Philadelphia beat them 4-0. But then, as they got a little more comfortable as a team, it was a 4-1 second quarter that made the game within one goal, 5-4 at half. Philadelphia 
opens up the second half with a score by Rogers and Kemp. That's where we are right now. Towers took that shot and a block by Elliott. Towers has not been an offensive force like he was in Boston. He joins this team this year and they really look to get some goals from him. That's the sound, uh, the secret yet. Nostrand puts it right in the chest protector of Lacasio. Lacasio looks up immediately for a clearing pass and doesn't get it. Towers now. Waits for the new line to come on. This is Sombrato and McAtee. Red Arrow comes on, along with O'Keefe. McAtee comes in now. Reset. Reset the shot clock. Give it back to New York, and they're down by two with 12-16 left. Fast breaks have been cut down by the great defense of Philadelphia and New York. They are just getting in turn. Fast breaks, 14. Watch that, O'Grady and Panetta. You got seven also? Yeah, Take them both that way. It's a reset. We got a white ball. You got matching roughing. Matching roughing, four on four. All right, four on four means it'll be four players against four, of course. And look in the middle of the screen. Panetta, number 24. O'Keefe, number seven. They're going at it. Or I'm sorry, that's uh, number seven, O'Grady for Philadelphia and Panetta for New York. There's Matt Panetta on the sideline. What a great shooter he was for Johns Hopkins. Adapted himself, his style well to the indoor league, but really is much more of a power shooter. He likes to get position. It's great in the, in in the field league. He's tougher indoor. Inside move, broke for New York. It's a 6-5 game. Great move by McEntee. Dallas Elliott can't believe it. McEntee took it right down the shooter. Look at that. He fakes the feed. He has an opening against Flynn. Stuffs it home. 6-5. to five. Pull away for the quick. Keep it going, Timmy. Back to you, Leaf. And fast break is exactly what they've got going here. Lockwood off the face mask of Elliott. He was rocked by that one. Play ball. No, no, in the area. Look at him reset it. He took it right in the face. Laser Lockwood just laid it on the iron right in his face. And you can see how close the bar is to his nose. Lockwood has great velocity on his shot. That's where he got the nickname Laser. Look at that one bouncing right off of the face mask of Elliott before he even had enough reaction time to come up and make the block he takes it in the face mask. We saw him floor here earlier in the year. Inside, watch Stenekin, he can't beat Lacasio. So it's going to come here for Elliott. Right now the Philadelphia wants to get another goal. Check from behind by McCabe. That was on Marichek. Boy, those two went at it as teammates. The great Syracuse squad. 11 minutes left, 6-5. This is Sarah Mendes, as a fresh unit comes on for New York. They have done everything their coach has wanted them to do once they got settled. First quarter, throw it away, and they are playing a great game, especially for a team that is 0 and 5. Go! Reardon has the ball. Hold on the white clamp on the cross. All right, so at, when they were setting a pick, somebody clamped down on the stick and kind of held one of the players defensively. So they give the ball back to Philadelphia. They've got the one goal lead. Low scoring game. Those favors New York. And I think Fresh knows that. Rogers tried to get another one from the right hand, but Lacasio calmly just Reset. bats it down. Here come those Saints. Rogers plays a little defense now. Millen comes over, looks for the ball. They're calling out a fresh line. Millen looks over, makes sure he's okay, and he is. Towers is on, Red Arrow is on. And the ball now controlled over there by Lowe. Lowe's already got a goal. He shot him way out there. Watch out. O'Grady checked it out of his stick. Here comes Finner. He's got a Brady with him. Finner will take it all the way. Looks for a trailing player. He's got it. And the ball knocked out at the last minute. Placasio very smartly comes out of the crease to pull it down. Right away, though, Gary Gate goes back to cut off the pass break along with O'Grady. So Philadelphia very aware of the speed of New York. Now, these two teams are two of the three teams that started the major indoor lacrosse league. They've been here forever, eight years. And forever, they've had fast, quick teams. Gary Gate getting hammered. Look at the top of the screen. They're going at it. They're going to get a penalty. But Panetta shoots, and it goes wide. Gary Gate lost his glove. In the goal! Equipment! Goalie's ball coming out! All right, equipment was Gary Gate. You don't see him on the screen there. But he lost his glove making a defensive check. 
He's playing such a great all-around game this year. Gary Gate is known for his offensive skills, but he's really picked up the defensive posture of this squad. This is a true team in every sense of the word, and they all play tough deep. Look out! McAvoy's got rope! against Panetta because Lacasio came right into Panetta and said a few words about defensive position. Take a look at what happens to O'Keefe playing defense here. McAvoy beats O'Keefe. Maybe the slide didn't come from Panetta on the far side, but for whatever reason, there was conversation. Miller. And on the second assist, number 35, Dallas Lynn gets it back. Johnny Nelson. 17 on the shot clock. They scored two goals in the last three minutes. The first three minutes of the second half have been very productive. Miller. Miller, one of the great offensive stars for the Hobart program. Now a two-goal lead for Philadelphia. Seven to five. Still a low-scoring game. They're well within the reach of, again, the limited offense of New York. That's their problem. They really don't have a great offense. They've always had the great defense, and right now it's led by Salacasio, Tony Resch, Doc Doherty, both optimistic about today's game. What an upset it would be for New York to beat the team that right now rests atop the major indoor lacrosse league at 4-1. and one. Philly is commanding the faceoffs, 11-3. Volker. Volker's got through! regular season score in four years. He's a great talent and a three-goal lead for Philly. Hunt was open, took the shot, and thank God it went in. Brian Volker, keep it up. Two-four. Well, Roy Condon sending Matt Panetta to the old Twice, Sinbin. 24, two-four roughing. Two minutes. Gary Gay took the hard shot. It just hit Salacasio in the hand. He was massaging his hand. He made the block with Panetta. Now in the box for two minutes. It'll be a power play for Philadelphia and a chance to really take control of the game. Lacasio has been yelling at his team the whole day to get tougher defense. Great ground ball. Way to work. Get a goal here. It's a big goal. And Resch talks about how great they have been doing on the ground ball. Still in the diamond defense, even though Gary Gate is on the wing. Gary Gate comes in. Close! in 28 seconds and again they've been scoring in bunches good just hit, like they did hit, in the first quarter so second quarter they got a little soft Tony Rush got them fired up at halftime and they are doing a number up by four moving pick call Philadelphia comes back down and O'Toole is now in the net for New York and it might have been the shot by Gary Gate that caught him in the hand and we'll find out about that from Quinn Kesnick, who will find out from Lacasio if he's got an injury. He took a hard shot by Gary Gate before he scored, and that may have taken its toll. Uh, Q, what do you got from Sal down there? Sal, not much help defensively. They're leaving you out there to dry, huh? Well, it's been tough out there. They've, uh, they've outplayed it so far, um, you know, but there's a lot of game left, throwing down four goals, and, uh, you know, I think if we play as well as we can, we can come back. Why the change, Sal? I think we need a little bit of a change. I mean, heck, we're almost five coming in here today, and uh, we're down by four in the third quarter. And you know, if it, if it helps us, hey, I'm all for it. And you know, hopefully, we'll, it'll it'll get us going a little bit. Back upstairs to leave. 
Evan Fitterin now brings the ball down, so obviously it wasn't Sal's idea to leave the field. O'Toole goes in. This is a rookie, folks. In a big game like this, I guess Zach Darty wants to find out, since he's not going to be in the playoffs, he's the only team that knows he won't be in the playoffs so far. He wants to find out who can play this game. Tony Millen gets two minutes in the box, led in there by umpire Crawford. And that's no help when you're down, obviously, by four. Millen gets the hit there against the board. He's hit down again. He retaliates. Wow, it looks like he got the worst of it. It's got, no, it's got him with a hold. He's, he's serving two minutes for the takedown, two minutes for the ref, two minutes for the ref. Our ball, man. Well, this is a four-minute penalty against Tony Millen, and this could take New York out of the game. They're down by four, and they'll be shorthanded when we come back. Well, this game could quickly get out of hand. You see the time, 5.30 in the third quarter. Nine to five, the score, four-goal lead, the largest of the game for Philadelphia. But right now, New York is facing a pretty dire condition. Both teams are at even strength because they're a four and four, but momentarily, I think that'll change. Right now, watch New York with Gary Gates. He'll be tough to stop there. Inside the Martin, you couldn't pick it up. There's still a penalty. Walk away! Walk away! Keep walking. Roy Conda doing a good job of controlling the field. Volker there making his point. 21! Ruffin! Two minutes! And Walder, New York is basically just taking the game away from any chance uh, for them to win. They were in this game, chance to stay in it, but they put two men in the penalty box. Millen won, Walder's the other, and Philadelphia still has a man in the box. So right now, it's four on three for Philly. Zach Darty is saying, I've lost control, and I gotta get it back. It'll be four on three for about a minute and a half, and then it'll be five on three. This is not where you want to find out whether a young guy can play the game. You put him in against these great shooters, four on three, there's going to be a lot of extra man shooting against O'Toole. O'Toole is trying to get his legs in the indoor league against the number one team, and that is a great shot by Tommy Merichek. He really he put it exactly where he wanted to, off hip, right on the pipe. Ten to five, five goal lead, they're still up there. Brushed aside by O'Toole. Third quarter is a five to one score right now, and that quarter alone in favor of Philly. They came out strong in the first quarter, and they came out strong in the third. Pretty sharp as he starts to get comfortable behind the play. Govett fighting with another Saint player. Nothing stupid on the well, score on Anthony goals really have taken the wind out of the sails of New York, who came into this half with a great chance to upset the number one team in the major indoor lacrosse league. McKay tries to shoot backside. A big save by Elliott. Here comes Gary Gate. Fast break. Gary Gate trying to pull it in. He will get it and shoot for a rope. Big save by O'Toole. What a save by the rookie O'Toole against the best in the business, Gary Gate. He tried to find O'Keefe. He couldn't pick it up. And now the trailer, Dan Reardon, has it. Young rookie Reardon. Reardon looking for Panetta up top. Back towards Miko Red Arrow. Can't get it off. Shot clock still counting down to 10. Elliott not tested by that one. Watch out, Panetta. He's got it. 
easy redirect for Panetta against Flynn. And Panetta, that's exactly where he wants to get the ball. He's got a tremendous right hand, and by redirecting it, watch, see Elliott on the far pipe? Now, this ball will come out very quickly to Panetta, who redirects it very quickly, and Elliott not quite settled for the velocity of that shot, and Panetta's got one of the hardest right hands you're gonna find. New York comes back to within four. It's a 10 to six game, and that ends the four goal run for Philly. Still, a chance to come back in this game as teams now are at even strength. Bounce off O'Toole, who looks very good, and Hugh, the New York sideline, still alive. New York coming back again. We'll go back to Quint Kessick in a second, but right now New York has scored two goals in just seconds. Watch this shot against Elliott. Beautiful job by Kevin Lowe, the leader from Princeton. Gets the ball on the far side, just dishes it in, and just like that, Kevin Lowe has scored a huge goal. He's a great feeder from Princeton, a team captain, an All-American many times, all the offensive records are his at Princeton, and he has scored two big goals in this game. This goal was a second in 21 seconds for New York. Hey, folks, it's a three-goal game, and New York's back in it. Quint, how they feel? You think you're back in this game, Kevin? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've we're, we're played really poorly at times. They can't put us away. We're back in it. Three goals, full quarter. Ready to go. Leaf? Quint, that's a, a real great family of lacrosse players that you're familiar with. Kevin Lowe, his brother Darren Lowe was an All-American at Brown. His father was an All-American at Maryland. And his father is in the Hall of Fame. Kevin Lowe will be there at some point because he has all the offensive records at Princeton. He's bringing that thoroughbred uh, kind of style into the New York squad. And he is a true leader as a rookie. Something that Philadelphia doesn't have. Philadelphia's got a great team, but they're getting a little bit old if we look to the future. Three rookies making an impact for New York. No rookies on the field for Philadelphia. Face off, Philadelphia commanding 14 to three. New York continues to put pressure on Elliott. And the move by Doc Darty to pull out second team all pro Sal Lacasio, controversial at the time, could prove to be a galvanizing move. Back in deep. Shot clock down to six. Towers doesn't realize he doesn't have much time. You can't shoot the ball from behind anymore in the major indoor lacrosse league. Your feet have to be in front, and that's what the referees told Towers. Paul Gate or Gary Gates got down there. Check back door. Wheels fires against Joe Tool. Knock it off. Gil Hooley, all the way up to a streaky Pico Red Arrow who came off the bench. One fifteen left in the third quarter. It's a three-goal game. It was a five-goal game. Two straight for New York. Watch out, O'Toole. Ball brushed just to the right. Philadelphia reloads up top. Rogers has two today. Oh, that check by Marichek. Just not so keep down, and that'll give the ball back to New York. Christy Lee, the Philadelphia bench, has to be a little concerned. Well, John Nostrand, it seems like you guys start the order away, and then they keep coming back. Yeah, they're, they're fighters. You know, they're 0-5, but they have some great athletes. They're competitive, so it's going to be a game right down to the end. John Nostrand, thanks. And Christy, uh, Noti from Philadelphia, that's what they call them. All these guys know each other well. These guys are all the best, the top lacrosse players in the country, and they play against each other in the field game many times. They're very aware of their stuff. Laser Lockwood. He'll go far side, watch the shot back through the middle. He's on Grotto. I think it'll be a delayed call. No goal. Elliott getting rocked. And a check up the ground. No goal, but it's a delayed call. It was a penalty against Philadelphia. High check. It'll be a high check in here. Watch the check. Somebody, somebody checks up high. Watch it in the face. We don't see it there. The save by Elliott. The ball comes out. And somewhere off of the ball, there was a check above the shoulders. 
and it'll give New York a 5 on 4. Now, this power play, as I've mentioned, has not looked that comfortable. It's a new unit. They don't look that cohesive. They're going against a box defense. McIntyre triggers up top. He's the veteran. Lockwood to the far side. He's got no angle there. Right-handed shooter takes it from the wrong side. And really, not a good shot by McIntyre, even though he almost burned Elliott and hit the iron. Pipe shot, then it comes back out. But a right-handed shooter shooting from the goalie's left. Not much to shoot at, folks. Hello. Miller threw it out of bounds. Hard to believe. He gave it away at the end of the third quarter. We go. We'll start go. with a faceoff, but it'll be New York with a 5-4 advantage. McIntyre takes this rocket shot from the wrong side, but he hits iron. It's a three-goal lead for Philadelphia with one quarter to go. Welcome back to our major indoor lacrosse league coverage on ESPN2. If you like what you see, follow our schedule as we continue. Boston at Rochester, February 21st, 8.30. Again, Philadelphia at Baltimore, the following February 26th at 8.30. And then you've got Boston at New York. It's a live game, folks. March 3rd, 8.30 p.m. All Eastern time. The deuce on major indoor lacrosse league action. Okay, Quint, you've got the coach of New York. Coach Hardy, why'd you pull Lacasio? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, we're, we're learning going. a little bit about the Canadian style. I was talking to Les Barkley last week, the Buffalo coach. He says it doesn't hurt if you uh, you get down by three, you pull your start and go in. Sometimes that young man comes in, he's a little pumped up. Uh, this, this young man, Patty O'Toole, has been a Canadian box goal his whole life. And uh, we want to give him a chance to see what he can do. Right now, he's come up big for us. And I talked to Sal, he says, let him play. He's playing well, so we're going to stay with Patty. Leaf? And Quinn, I think that was a, a, really a gutsy move for a coach. Yeah, he's got nothing to play for. He won't be in the playoffs. But here you've got a second team all pro. You pull him out. And you've got your second team all pro saying he's doing good. Keep him in the game. That's the kind of thing that can galvanize a team. They are looking stronger with one quarter to go in the third quarter. Again, Philadelphia controlling the shots, 18 to 10. Loose balls. Now New York stepping up all even there. And faceoff still in the favor of Philadelphia as they have been throughout the game. Down to the final 14 minutes, a three-goal lead, but New York again with the ball, and it's still a 5-1-4. They're still extra, and they will be for, well, now they should be even. Now they're still, they're still in the box for 29 seconds. Shot wide by Saramet. Now it's all right, it's all right. Go way down to O'Toole. Look at O'Toole come way out, pick it up. Kid looks good, looks comfortable now. Shot from Lockwood up top. He had not much left on the shot clock. He gets a fresh 30 now. Still 5 on 4 for 12 seconds. In close. Watch out. Back door. Keith gets nailed by McAvoy. Reset. Reset the shot clock. Push call on McAvoy. I tell you, the, the penalty clock kept moving. Time out. Wait. <laughs> A little bit of a home job on the penalty clock. It kept moving as uh, play wasn't even in action. Time out. Time out called by New York. They want to get one more shot. Leave the door open. And 22 at four seconds. New York calls the timeout to get a play. Let's find out what they've got. Tony Rash talking to his group. All right, fellas, let's make sure we stay. Uh, stay out of the box, right? That was a lousy call, but let's be smart there. Uh, we got four seconds. I assume they're going to try and set something away from it or pick for the ball or whatever. Let's have the guy on the ball step up pretty aggressively in case we're going to let it fly. Coming out of the box. Just sit a guy back with you. Okay. Walk in, walk in, and watch your heart. Play three on two up top. Let's go, boy. All right, both coaches reload their teams. Gary Gates still in the penalty box. The Canadian connection so important for Philadelphia. Gate and Marichek versus the Saints in the first game this year. Four and three for Gary. Three and one for Marichek. That was 21% of the shots. That's what they shoot on goal. The rest of the team only shot 70%. These guys, Gate and Marichek, are huge. And here comes Gary. Gary 
Isaiah Gates came flying out of the penalty box. That's why he's on the far side. His penalty just expired. They happened to get a save at the same time. He was one-on-one -on -one with O'Toole. Little O'Toole could do to stop that one. 11-7, to seven, a four-goal lead. Fourth goal tonight, and I just went over the graphic with you about how he had four goals in the first matchup against the same New York team. They had 11 goals to win that one. And it's about the same. Tonight's Canadian Connection gives you six goals and four assists, so without Marichek and Gates, the team will be looking for a little bit of offense, but of course, that's part of their mix. They've got a lot of hard-working players, and they go ahead, play the role to feed the great shooters. Jimmy Rogers comes in and doesn't get the shot on O'Toole. Now he's looking for an outlet pass. He finds Millen. Watch out on the bench side. That's dangerous. You get clocked real easy on that. Two players, Marichek or Millen, want to run. Still running down there. He's had three full field sprints. It's now Philadelphia ball. Marichek with the right hand shot out front. Looks for give and go. Pick and roll. Nemkin takes a shot down low. Oh, got it. All right, all right. Now he looks for the outlet. Nobody breaking for New York. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. 88. 88 upstairs. Kisslinger could have been an impact player in this game. We put him in our movers and shakers slot. But he hasn't been an impact. Right now, he could be hurting his team down by four. He's in the box. They've got to play shorthanded again against probably the most powerful power play unit in the major indoor lacrosse league. Philadelphia, the course day spectrum in-house cheerleader being friendly with the enemy. Nostrand up top, they've reloaded and reworked this extra man. They go to the far side to Denikin, but Gary Gates started up top because they're in the diamond. They move him to the side, trying to rotate into him. Here's the shot now. Ducks inside, marks the door. Denikin can't get a clear shot. O'Toole can't pick it up. This is dangerous for them. Outside, watch it. O'Toole just brushes it with his arm in time. 11 minutes left. O'Toole can't get control, finally does. 11 to 7, a four goal lead, about 11 minutes left. Leith Elsmo, Christy Lee, and Quint Kesselnick I'm on our deuce coverage of major Nine. indoor lacrosse Nine. league action. Nine! The hell are you counting? McEntee now settles things down because they are short. They'll try to eat up the full 30 seconds. They've got five left. McEntee might get a shot off, but they'll probably just give the ball up. Two seconds left on the shot clock. They'll lose it. He'll just drop it there. Looks to give it to the referee. And now they'll go back and reset their man down unit, which consists of the young kid reared and Kevin Lowe, two rookies, Towers, and who's the last man on there? Sombrato. Now they're into, uh, looks like still putting pressure on Gary with the diamond. O'Toole makes the block, but the ball's still loose. Watch out. Towers. Low. They've got it looking for a fast break. It's two on two if they can push the action. Here comes O'Grady to cut it off. Good job by Philly to take away any scoring opportunity for New York. They've got 10 minutes left. Still time for New York to climb back in it. But Philadelphia really has control throughout this game. It's been close. But Philadelphia always in the lead. Low tries to get a shot off. The ball just bounces wide. Reset. Gary Gade picks it up all the way up to Kevin Finneran. Watch Finneran. He'll look one way, feed the other. Takes a shot this time. Whoa! Nice shot by the Ohio Wesleyan star. All even, coming out. The rock is rolling. Here comes Kisslinger. He's out of the box. The teams are at even strength. Five on five. You got it. Come on. Gary Gate getting a lot of attention. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't push him in. Shot clock expires. He missed. The four by four and a half. Bakhtari still has life in his team. He's got a four gold deficit to make up, but some time to do it. 9.23 left. Danny Reardon gives it up to Saramet, and they get a fresh line on there. But the shot clock's counting down now, 13-12. They're a little too conservative. They've got to get some better shots off. Eating up time, Tony Millen. Millen, shot clock down to five. Lots better hurry. Gil Holy better hurry. In close! 
and they just missed an opportunity. They give it to him. They give him the goal. It just broke the plane before the buzzer. That one counts. The red light is lit, and it's 11 to 8. They're back to within three, and about nine minutes left in the game. Great rotation on that play. They did a fabulous job. The ball, Millen starts it up front. This is laser in close. Listen for the buzzer. Looks like it was a no goal to me, but the referees are right on top of it. They give them the eighth goal of the game. They're down by only three with plenty of time. And two's coverage of the Major Indoor Lacrosse League, 8.56 to go here in the fourth quarter. New York down by three. Jason Wonder, two goals. Is there anything in particular you're looking for against Elliott? Uh, he's a reaction goalie, so we're just trying to pick the spots where he's, he's moving before you're shooting a lot of times. So you try to pick the spot where he's not going to be. It's, it's a guessing game, but so far it's worked out pretty well for me tonight. Take it away, Lee. And Quinn, two goals on the night for Walder. He has been an offensive catalyst to New York. He needs a little bit of a catalyst. They've got a young guy, a lot of young guys, as we've mentioned, learning the system. McAvoy, watch out! Right in front, Bates takes the shot. And Millen headhunting. Penalty is on. Look at Millen run. This boy is fit and hungry. Penalty on Philadelphia. Gives the ball back to New York. Eight and a half minutes. Three goals down. They need one big time here. McEntee, the veteran, comes out. A very smart shooter, Timmy McEntee. And a veteran on a team that's loaded with rookies. McEntee with a little bit of a rotation and shoots for the iron just wide. A fresh shot clock that was, that was blocked by Elliott. New York's last goal was the first in nine minutes. Panetta bounces it off of Elliott. This one's wild. Watch out. Sombrano gets checked from behind by McAvoy. Whoa, danger. Right in the face of Elliott. They couldn't quite clear. Look at Bates. Bates is just outracing everybody. Bates beats everybody down, and O'Toole gobbles it up. Philadelphia, great team speed. Just outraced the whole defense of New York. Seven and a half minutes. They look at the clock. Kisslinger now brings it in with 20 on the shot clock. They take a lot of time to get the fresh people out there because they don't have much time to get their offense going. Kiss takes a shot. Not a great one. Low! Puts one behind, but not in. Miller. Who's on the whistle? What do we got? The crease violation that's going out this way. What's the balloon don't restart? That's part of the live and let live. Miller takes two clean shots at Kevin Low. Kevin Low. Then one. Three up. And Doc Darty's telling Roy Condon, look, my guy takes two shots to the face. He deserves to get a penalty on the other guy. But referees want to keep the game moving. And the crease violation was before that. They say, let's get it going. Seven minutes left. Three goal lead for Philadelphia. They've got the ball. O'Toole. Box, but the redirect saved by Nico Red Arrow. Now watch how long it takes New York to reset this offense. They bring guys down, but two are going out. Two come on. Guess here comes back and they put fresh legs on. Shot clock down, down to 20. And they still don't have their full unit out there. Gil Holy comes out. Shot clock down, down to 12. And Millens comes on. So they don't get their full unit on until there's 10 seconds left. And now they've got to go right to the net and don't get a good shot. It's been a problem for the New York offense most of the game. Here comes Millen. Look at the great speed and fitness. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Get the ball. Go get the ball. Ball goes back to Philadelphia. Keep it up. Keep it up. Doc Darty looks up, sees 6.30 on the shot on the game clock as Gary Gate takes the ball. He's got four goals already, two on power plays. This could be an even goal, but it gets pushed aside by O'Toole. Walter, he's got a pretty good shooting eye tonight, being chased from behind two, by Govan. Three. Looks to the backside. Panetta comes up. Lockwood. And close. Oh, Walter couldn't hold on to it. Shot clock down to 15. In close again, and New York could not handle it. Gabrielson. Uh, Vermont's greatest player. Now Roger back to game. He couldn't pick it up. Shot clock 17. Redirect. Oh, wide by Merrick. 540 left in the game. 
Three goal lead and the ball for Philadelphia. Okay, double team. He caught Govett and O'Toole makes the big snuff in the crease. No goal. Take the ball. Interference call. Now New York's got to solve this mess they've got on offense. They're not getting people on the floor fast enough. They're not getting good shots. They get they maybe get one good shot because they only have 10 seconds left by the time they set their offense. They're not getting second shots, third shots, and not getting good movement because there's not any time left. They lose control there. Red Arrow's back to stop the fast break. Philadelphia doesn't really mind just bringing it down and eating up some clock. McCabe will go into the box for two minutes. Berman making the call. Mark Berman, the linesman. And a timeout with 5.14 left. A three-goal lead for the Wings. And they're going to have a power play to try to put this one away when we come back to the core state section. Lead, and this would make it four if they nail it. And Philly will just take some time off the clock here before they get the good shot. Finnerin now, down low. Look how he gets it bounced off. He always looks away at his speed. Very tough to defense against. And great diving play by Gary Gate to keep it alive. How about that for laying himself out for the possession? Shot clock. It's reset now down to 22. And close will toll the big block. Well, it's crunch time. Watch out. Kisslinger now has the ball in front of Volker. Kisslinger has to go to the hoop. He's got Volker. He's got to take a shot here. They don't have many opportunities. You want to take time off the clock when you're man down, but you're not going to have many chances to get shots, and that was maybe one that he would like to have gotten some pressure on Elliott with. Tony Millen. Maybe he'll do the same. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Millen says, clear out for me. Looks to the crease. Nobody there. Two. One, shot clock will expire and possession to Philadelphia. Four minutes in the game. They try to get it to Gary Gato. Tool comes out, plays the count beautifully. He must have gone to college. He must have played pool. New York now slows things down. They are still a man short, so they've got a tough situation here. They want to keep possession because they only have four against their five, but they've got to get a good shot. 31 seconds on the penalty, but only 340 in the game. They need three goals. Kevin Lowe, so smart on the field. Shot clock down to five now. Both go. Both go and start it with a hold, and then you both go. Govett gets called with Saraman. And then you have the ball with the play on. Why right keeps it? You're in. 16,000 plus announced for the attendance here at the Core State Spectrum. And the two minute penalty as Govett looks over. Philadelphia holds the, like, the top 10 all time records for the mill. Quentin Kesnick on the sideline with Tony Millen. Tony Millen, you guys are down by three. Uh, fatigue, a big factor in your comeback here? I tell you what, Quentin, I, it may appear that way, but I think it's like we're demoralized. We, we, we try our butts off in order to get uh, get something happening. And this season, things just haven't fallen our way. We're down by three goals. We haven't lost a game by more than three goals all season. You know, we're out there, we're working hard, but uh, I don't know if our heads are in it. I mean, we're, we're, we are working hard, and, and, and that's what we're asking from our guys. Thanks, Tony. Leave. And Quint, I think we all agree that this team is only one player away from being a big contender. They need one finisher, one of the so-called Canadian connection types that can give you a three-goal game. They don't have three-goal game types. Watch out, Kevin Lowe. They've got a lot of one-goal scores, maybe two goals. Philadelphia, conversely, has Gary Gate, who'll give you four goals every night, maybe, and a guy like Marichek will give you three. That's the missing link for New York. Coming out, Gray! He pushed them up here! Andy, Andy Towers telling Kevin Lowe to just take it easy. Watch this intense stuff on the sideline. That's Kevin Lowe just playing tough physical ball. This guy is a player as a rookie. They've got some young, great talent on the New York sideline. I guarantee you this team will be somebody to contend with next year. They only need one player. That's what I think. They're one player away, one finisher, one scorer from being right in the thick of it. Three goal lead for Philly, and they're going to send another Saint to the penalty box. Okay. So it's now five on four. All right, 
at 5 on 4. Roy Kine is telling who's up, and Christy Lee's got Scott Gabrielson, the captain of Philadelphia, on the sideline. Okay. Scott Gabrielson, can you talk a little bit about staying out of the penalty box, how important that is at this point of the game? Yeah, with this much time left on the floor, we just got to keep our heads and play our game without getting uh, caught up in, all, in the penalties. We're playing aggressive, but right now we're starting to play a little too aggressive. So we'll be all right if we just, just maintain it. The Wings are ahead 11 to 8. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with more fourth quarter action from the Philadelphia Spectrum Hot Indoor Lacrosse. Up in the goal coming in for Salicacio. Look at this. They're mismanaging the ball down there. They may lose it. They pick it up now. O'Toole behind the back. Look at the ball movement. Kisslinger now against two players. He's rocked from the sideline. That's why you don't bring it up on the bench side. He's rocked by Volker coming off the bench. Lynn, far side, Finnerin tries to finish. O'Toole doesn't let him. Gisslinger again. This side, they, this time they stay away from the bench, which is the textbook way to do it. You saw how Volker could easily come off when you clear it to the near side. He comes off the bench and just rocks you. Two minutes left, three goal lead for Philadelphia. And it is really down to mathematical impossibilities if they don't get one quick. McEntee. Tries to get it to O'Keefe inside. O'Keefe is saying, I'm being held. And Philadelphia drops back to really plug up the middle there defensively, so not much open. Here comes Philadelphia. They got a fresh shot clock and under two minutes to go in the game. This one will be controlled by Philly. They beat New York in New York with the same score, 11 goals. Gary Gate leading everybody on their team with four. That's where they stand right now. Gary Gate from the point. Bear checks there for the right-handed shot. If you want to wrap it around, watch it. Nostrum protects Marajug again, and they have a fresh shot clock at 30. They'll be wise just to use it all. Let them out now! So Govett comes wait, wait, wait. out of the penalty box. New York was down in there. The wash was up. Who's the wash? The wash was over at 136. And he came out? New York wash came Was the regular penalty over? Then we got an illegal procedure on the way. Nothing else. They still serve that. The wash is out. It's a gray ball. Hey, Q, I noticed you're taking a lot of water down there. Is it hot? Yeah, it's pretty hot down here. New York seems to be a bit confused right now, Leaf. They're down uh, for another 30 seconds. It's really impossible them, for them to come back down three goals uh, and down one or two guys here. So they've really put themselves in an impossible situation. It is very difficult. But I can tell you, for the fans who have seen uh, Mill, yeah. you can score three goals in a minute and a half. We saw it earlier in this game. So it can happen. We know that mathematically, but Quinn's absolutely right with the defense hanging in. And with your team up five to four, it's little or no chance for the New York Saints. Well, they got that all sorted out. Let them go. Kelly came out of the box. And Philadelphia, as disciplined as they are, really managing the clock beautifully. They've got the 5 1 4, 1 18 left in the game, 22 on the shot clock. Gary draws the defense. Gabe gives them air check. They're taking their time. They've got 16 left on the shot clock. They'll bring it down about five more before they start looking for the shot. 13, now they'll start moving their cuts. Wrap that one around Panetta. Finneran can't bring it up. Now it's still loose. Finneran may get it. Shot clock down to four. Game under a minute. Here comes Panetta. They pulled the goalie, O'Toole. This shot off of it. Watch out for the fast break. No goalie on the other end if they get it back. Elliott's got it. He's going to hold it with 41 left. There is no goalie for New York. Let's see if they take advantage of it. Nobody's in the net. Who wants to stand in there without the pads? I don't know if anybody does. Philadelphia will just burn up time. They look down there. All of a sudden, McAvoy says, hey, nobody's in the net. I can get one. Kevin Finneran. Shot clock down to eight. They just want the victory. Here comes Tony Millen. He's got Sobrato to his right. Millen's going to go to Cooker. Sobrato now. Big save by Elliott. Philly's got this win.
The fourth quarter was just one goal for each team, but Philadelphia controlled it. They win by three. We'll be back to wrap up this game from the Quartz State.